Okay, if you were curious about whether Skims is worth it or not, let's talk about it. Parcel for Jodie. Really wide under 20 pounds. I thought we could try these new products. Let's go to the gym. I'm ready for new opportunities. Hello angels, welcome back to a vlog. Let me tell you, it is winter. It is freezing cold. I don't know where it's come from. It's as if the temperature has gone like, bum, bum, bum. It is freezing. Like, no windows or door open. Knit officially on. We've got the hot water bottle filled up. It's just freezing cold. Like, we need to go and get ourselves a new heated blanket. We just need to stay warm. Like, it is so cold. But it's one of those days, and I will say I do love this weather. It's bright blue sky, like sunny, but cold. It gives the vibes you just need to be prepared for it. Like, you need a coat, you need a jacket, you need to be warm. But the vibes are good. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are excited for a new weekly vlog. I missed you so much. It was my birthday this weekend, and I feel like... It was just so nice to spend time with family. Obviously vlogged it for you guys, so you will have already seen that. But yeah, I actually got a boohoo haul. So I thought we could do that, start the week off. And I also need to get back in my organisation planning girl era. So we've got this journal back out, this planner. So let me open the boohoo haul and then I will run through the weekly plans. So this was kindly gifted and I got some really cute autumnal bit so i actually got this coat a while ago but i sized up and it was so big so i sent it back and i just got the smallest size that they did in it which was a size eight but it's like a borg fluffy chocolate brown coat i'm thinking for like a dog walking coat or just like out and about not like a fancy coat but just like a nice run around jacket. Love the chocolate brownness of it. It's super like big and oversized, like big collar. This just really cute. Just so soft. And I feel like for a dog walk, that would be so nice. Just, you know, like snuggle up in it. Sorry guys, that is our mortgage for our rental house because it's up, which is crap. Well, it's not up yet, but it's coming up. So we've got to renew it. This is not a good time to be going for a mortgage, <laughs> but it is what it is. So, This coat was brand new on Boohoo last week and I saw Georgie Clark put it on her story as well and it looked stunning. So it's like a cropped aviator. I will try all these on at some point, but what I'm wearing is just not going to go with the vibes. So yeah, it's got this like big chunky zip. Oh guys, it's, and it's all fur on the inside. I will link all this below. We've got big fat pockets. Oh my God, I love this. This was like £40, I think really really cute so i'm hoping that that looks nice on i got this in a 12 so i will try them on maybe tomorrow and then you guys can see how it looks then i got this cardboard now i don't know whether this will look too much like pajamas but i thought maybe as a lone set or i could yeah it's definitely pajamas i think oh it's a shame because it looked really cute on the model i feel like i could wear this though just cozily but they do just like Primark pyjamas. They're like a fleece cable knit trouser. But the model didn't look like pyjamas. But I feel like they just... Let's not fall ourselves. But it's a cardboard. Oh well, this is nice. This is a nice cosy loungewear set to watch movies in. And stuff. So this is the top. It's just like a sweatshirt. And it's got this cable knit running through thought this was well i was hoping this would be cute for like uggs and a big jacket but i feel like probably more suitable for the house but even so this material is so soft literally need this in a throw in my room because that is so cute so let's go through what we've done what we've got for the week so this is the her empire lifestyle welcome to the goal getter club planner i got this i think at the start of the year and i was so consistent with it for like a good probably half of the year and i've just fallen off the last few months since i went on holiday i feel like i've just fallen off but it's really good because at the front it has like yearly goals whys um monthly planners questions to find yourself like a lot of like self-discovery work yeah i haven't been in this since august so you get this like monthly 
overview so I need to sit and fill this in but you get three points of how you're going to be a goal getter this month and then obviously a little box for each and it's just good to give yourself a nice overview but then each week you get I'll show you a plain one just so, so you get the vision you get this so you get affirmation of the week and this week I've put I've entered a trans a trans <laughs> I have entered a trans transformative 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 chapter how I'm going to be a goal getter this week we're going to get back on the early mornings I'm going to plan each day and I'm also going to start journaling daily again because I'm like journaling not journaling journaling not journaling I'm just going to journal every day and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday like I've just planned all my days out and it just is nice it gives me an overview so like today edit the weekly vlog edit the birthday vlog go for a food shop tidy my room and I've got oh and then like what I've done is put in the corner like, any posting that I've got to put like any de um, deadline so like tonight I'm going live with a UK lash reel so I've ripped that then tomorrow me and Mia's, Mia have got a sisters and souls meeting we're going to get some Instagram content I'm going to do a workout in the morning I've got a vlog going live Wednesday is going to be very filming TikToks YouTube whatever like editing day Thursday I have got a family commitment so that's just obviously in there it's pretty blank on Thursday but I'm going to be out pretty much the whole day so yeah other than my vlog going live that's really the only thing for Thursday Friday I'm taking my grandma to do her food shop I've got some lunch plans and then on the night I'm actually going to see Fleetwood Mac with my grandma it's like a what do they call it like a tribute but I'm excited looking forward to that Saturday we've got TGIs for Ollie's brother's birthday and then Sunday we're going pumpkin picking so that just gives me a nice overview of the week and then obviously I can fill in the blanks add plans as they come I probably need to go to boots and stuff I'm gonna go and do a food shop this afternoon so let me get myself sorted I've been writing a shopping list on my phone but let me just get myself sorted, go and do this food shop and then I will pick you guys up afterwards. But I just wanted to really start this weekly vlog and say hello, I love you guys, I'm excited to spend the week with you again. I just want a really productive week, like I want to get back in the gym, I want to make like a nice soup. I just want to be healthy and productive and just fill my days with as much positive, productive, whatever as possible. So yeah, that is what we are up to so let me get myself sorted and then i'll pick you guys up in a little bit to chat and i'm gonna go shopping and all of that so okay, we are at sainsbury's a new aldi has opened up over there and i don't know whether to i'm not i mean i'm not gonna try it till i've came here but i don't know whether to go and just see i know i've really left aldi you know i haven't i've put if anything quite close to this car but this car is having a real struggle to get in next to me um yeah yeah there's a new Aldi I think I might go and try it at one point but I don't really want to do a weekly shop from that I did do a weekly shop from Aldi I can't it was a few weeks ago I can't think why I think it might have been when we was dog sitting and it just I don't know I'm into the Sainsbury's food now so I've got my bags see you guys in there got my shopping list four meals because we'll probably eat out Friday and then cook at home on Saturday so that's what we tend to do so, see you guys in there. Guys, look how cute their rotten roofs are. £18 with all the white pumpkins. I love that. It's so cute. Their water is actually really cute. Look at all the pumpkin decor. Look at those. I actually love this. £15. Very expensive for that. But also look at these pumpkins. Gold and white. Ah. Oh. This is cute. What is it? A pumpkin hottie. What does that mean? Hot water bottle. It's really sweet. Look at the ceramic white ones. And these. And they've also got skull ice cubes. I don't know where my Primark one is, but look, it's got a really wide handle. It's five pound. They've also got a ghost one, but it's so cute. Everyone needs a pumpkin hottie. Guys, look at the Christmas range of the crockery. How cute is all of this? I was looking to get a heat blanket from Argos, but they've only got white. And I just feel like that is not like what I want on my bed. Like it's just not practical, it's not sensible. Because there's an Argos here, but I was like, you know what, I'll just order one from Amazon. Just like I want a darker colour so that if we spill anything or whatever, it's not like ruined. 
how cute I'm having a little braised around Habitat. I feel like I'm really gonna have green in my house. I feel like it's such a calming colour without it being like colour. But it's like the little little touches. That is so good. Look at all of this. And this isn't even a big one. I love that lamp. That's 65 pound. Look, look how cool that is, that vase. So good. I've seen Dion Crow have one of these from H&M. And I bet it was a lot more than 18 pound. But it looks really cool. You can get like a coffee book, leave it open on the table or whatever. Okay, guys, we are back. And I thought I'd give you a little food chop haul and tell you what meals I'm gonna cook this week, just maybe give you guys some inspo. I've been really trying to focus. This is so dirty. I've been really trying to focus on making clean, nutritious meals with like as least ingredients as possible, no processed bits. Like where I can, I've just been trying to get whole ingredients. But it's Frankie's birthday today. Frank, what's this? So this is when you know that you're meant to be. My birthday is the 14th of October. Sasha's birthday is the 15th of October. And Frankie's, she looks very sad, she's not, is the 16th of October. And how crazy is that? She just wants to get down. That is when you know you're meant to be. Obviously I got Sasha when I was six and our birthdays were just consecutive. And like that was weird, but we were like, oh, whatever. And then when we got Frankie, like obviously we said, oh, like, when was she born? And we were like, shut up. How? How are we consecutive? Meant to be sisters, I will tell you that. So anyway, let's get into the food shop haul. This was from Sainsbury's. It cost just under £50 and I'll show you what we got. Two pots of Greek style yogurt. I've been having a lot of this in my breakfast and Ollie's also been having it, so I got two. Chicken stock, would love to make this myself. I will get round to it. Like I'm just trying to make little changes as I, like where I can and as I can. So we've got mushrooms, kale, harissa paste, one carrot, spaghetti, spaghetti, loads of bananas, blueberries, raspberries, some red grapes, and a pack of sweet potatoes, chopped tomatoes, double cream. I wanted to get the organic one, but they didn't have any, so pastry, mint. Some tomatoes. I'm gonna to do a tomato soup at some point this week, so I got a nice, like, chunky, large tomato on the vine. Yum. A little pack of self raising flour because I want to try and make my own naan bread. I don't know whether it will go to plan, but I saw a recipe on TikTok. It's literally Greek yogurt, which I've got, and self raising flour. And then this lady had, like, melted butter and garlic and then, like, spread it all on top. So I'm gonna give it a go because I really want to do a chicken and sweet potato curry called my name so i got the sweet potato i just wanted something sweet potato and i was thinking do i do like you know another good one which i'll tell you about i was thinking do i do this or do i do the curry and i went with the curry because we haven't had it for so long but scrape like bake your sweet potatoes scrape it out mix it with philadelphia you could do chicken as well i've done it with chicken or bacon if you like bacon i personally don't but if you like bacon mix it in with the philadelphia and the sweet potato um, inside and then stuff them back on put mozzarella or cheese on top incredible Mo mozzarella another pack of tomatoes chicken breast lamb mints this is a yeo valley organic kefir kefir i don't know how to pronounce it but ollie's been enjoying having this in the morning so this one was on nectar price instead of the other brand i can't think what that brand's called but i just got this in to try onions pack of chicken thighs and these two packs of smoked pancetta so ollie's for his lunch has been having he has gone very um clean very non-processed very high protein high fat almost carnivore based not fully and like for dinners like i said like i don't really want to eat that diet so you know we can accommodate you where we can but you also obviously need to accommodate me so for our dinners we've kept them very samey same as, as normal but for his breakfast and lunch breakfast he's been having like fruit and yogurt and nuts and things like that and like the kefir however you say it but for his lunch he's been having i say carnivore he, he actually isn't that carnivore he was he's very 
if you know someone with ADHD, I don't know if it is the ADHD in him or I don't know, he's very impulsive, he's very like, wanna try this, wanna try that, wanna try that. And he did the carnivore diet, it didn't, didn't last that long, but he did try it a while ago and he does really like it. But for his lunch, he's been home making carbonara and you know what, it's actually so easy. I don't know how at the two of us, I have tried so many different carbonara recipes over the years and I've never really cracked it. Like, yeah, I've been like, oh yeah, that one's all right. He has cracked like the easiest carbonara method. So one day when he needs to do his lunch, because he's already like meal prepped them, I think for today and tomorrow, when he needs to redo that, I'll show you the recipe. It is so easy. We could all be making like unreal carbonara with this recipe, I swear to God, and how Ollie has brought this to our attention. I don't know. I just realised that probably isn't going to make any sense without me giving you some context of what meals we're going to have. So, sweet potato and chicken curry. Chicken pie, which I've already cooked for you guys on the channel. So good, creamy. Mm. Thirdly, lasagna. Obviously, it's actually a go-to of ours at the minute. Fourthly, lamb rice, which is a Hello Fresh meal that we had ages ago and we just like incorporated it into our own sort of recipe and if you've been around for a while you'll have cooked it with me before it's really good that's why i got the mint <laughs> to have each other's playlists No, no you Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't wanna think what's happening cold again i cannot i got my new boohoo coat on it's so snuggly i'm so glad i got it i feel like a big teddy bear in it excuse the sight of me i've literally just brushed my hair back haven't even washed my face but we are off on a dog walk because i thought let's just get the dogs walked and then i think i might go for a workout class tonight that's what she says that's what i'm gonna try or if there's no workout classes that i like the look of i've put my boots on charge my headphones so that i can go to the gym with music if, if that is what is required of me because i don't want to go for my like first like gym like i don't want to go back to the gym with no headphones i feel like i just wouldn't be productive feel like it i don't know music is a big thing so yeah we're going to take the dogs for a walk when i tell you i had all plans last night to have this big self-care evening we got into bed and literally i fell to sleep before nine o'clock it was like i think it was like quarter to nine and i said to her like, i'm really quite tired so i just fell asleep we was watching this new series called snowfall someone had told him about it and it did seem good it was it seemed like retro american but i was so tired i was literally like falling to sleep and then i woke up which felt like i'd woke up five hours into a sleep and ollie was like it's half past nine and i was like what i was like i you know when you're so confused and disorientated i was like i don't even know so i had a big sleep so that is why i did not speak to you guys last night dinner was really good though and i would encourage you all to make your own naan breads because it was so easy and they were so good like i could not I couldn't believe it really. I thought they'd probably flop, but we're gonna go and take these on a nice walk. By the way, the sun didn't rise this morning until 7.35 and it sets today at 6.09. It's happening, girls. It's happening right in front of our eyes. I'm gonna see, excuse how I look, but oh, they're ready. See you guys later. <laughs> Come on then. I think it's off. Good girl. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hello, we are back. We are ready to get dressed and ready for the day. My tans last did really well. I feel a nice colour. This is that set from Boohoo. I'm sorry, it's it's definitely pyjamas. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, thinking that... On the model, how she wore this, it just was giving more Sunday Roast Co. Ward. I guess it's the material, but how freaking cute to get ready in and to wear to, like, a slumber party beautiful so i'm just gonna get ready for the day the poa this morning i need something on my lips my lips are so dry i think it's from the cold weather outside mm, nice this is by la lip strawberry lip balm is it lip balm in strawberry it's really good and it's 100 percent natural apparently <laughs> that's what it says on the packaging anyway so i am just gonna get myself ready the poa for today is i've just helped my mum do some bits that we needed to do for thursday i am gonna get myself ready i've got some bits to film for tiktok which i think i might get done today and then i'm gonna go meet mia i don't know what we're gonna do we were gonna get content but she said that she's really pale so we're gonna do that on friday so what we're gonna do today is just have a catch up maybe we're gonna get a coffee get out the house because i'm so bad at just being in the house all the time and i really don't like it so we are gonna go outside to the real world oh this review of this i actually really like this it's the vitamin c garnier spf it's like a cream serum actually really like it and under makeup it hasn't been causing me any issues like it hasn't flaked off because i know i said in last week's video that at the end of the day if i started like rubbing my face which obviously you shouldn't do but if i did it would start peeling off but under makeup it's actually been no problem at all and I, I like how it makes my skin feel. It doesn't make it feel greasy or oily. Like, it feels very water-based from my limited skincare knowledge. But I just use the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum, the Kylie Skin Eye Cream, that Garnier SPF. And that is all that I'm going to do under my makeup. I think I might... I don't know if my hair's too far gone to wave it, but I, if I can wave it... And I'm going to try, I might just put some dry shampoo through it. Also, review of the menstrual cup. Let me just silence my laptop. I want to watch some YouTube, so I'll just talk to you guys about that. And then I'll come back once I do my hair or something. But I actually used the menstrual cup for the whole of my period, other than that first night where I took it out. But honestly, I think when I was talking in the vlog, you could see how bad my period pains were. Like, it was literally like shooting up and you know when it like comes from your bum it's just they were just awful and i was just worried about the making it worse and i don't know how i thought but it was making me anxious and i thought i don't want to placebo this so i took it out that night and i thought hopefully to the like the next day my period pains won't be as bad and i can use it again and they weren't i feel like that first like well that was actually my second day but i feel like that I feel like they, I luckily, very rarely get really bad cramps for the entirety of my period. It tends to be like the first or the second day, depending on when I've came on. So I use the menstrual cup and I think I will stick at it, you know. One, it feels way more just, not, not hygienic as in tampons or pads feel unhygienic, but it just feels very hygiene it like it just feels like it's just tucked away like i don't have to see anything deal with anything like it just felt very i don't know just just different and like you can like with a tampon which always really annoyed me was you know when you go for a wee like it's i find it really hard to always keep it in and like sometimes you know you've just put one in and then you want a wee half an hour later and you don't need to change it and you have to pull it out put another one in so like financially it's definitely a better option environmentally it's definitely a better option because like you brought it and then that's it you know they should last you a long time and like comfortability couldn't feel it other than that first night which i feel like is probably normal like having something in there constantly obviously we're not used to so 
comfortability fine like honestly couldn't feel it um like no mess if you want to call it that like it honestly worked you know the suction it, it kept suctioning it up which was really good so i didn't have any like leaking or anything and yeah it was comfortable it lasted a long time like it says that they you can keep it in for about 12 hours and obviously depending on how heavy you are that um depending depends how long you can keep it in but i will say i kept it in for a, like probably 12 hours like to sleep in for sure like i'd put it in obviously to go to bed and then wouldn't take it out till the morning and i had no problem so we are a menstrual cup girly apparently like really liked it just felt very natural just felt like not having to worry about wearing like big pants when you want to wear leggings because you've got like a pad on and things like that just little things like it just felt a lot more not compact but it just felt like it was just dealt with itself like I wasn't having to change anything else about my life to help it you know so yeah that's my review on that because I know I didn't really speak about it in last week's vlog much so I am going to get myself ready and watch a little bit of YouTube because I've got so much I feel like YouTube the last week or so has honestly popped off like I feel like all my favorite YouTubers are just uploading the best content so Oh god, Aaliyah's face has gone to Bermuda. You know what? She has like blown up so much. She'd blown up anyway when me and Mia used to watch her. Like we would watch her every week, but I haven't watched her for a while. But she has really blown up. I, I watched a little bit of her weekly vlog, not last week, the week before, but it's hard when all your favourite YouTubers are uploading like hour plus weekly vlogs every week. It's hard to stay on top of. And like when McKenna's is pushing two three hours it's a lot so yeah i'm gonna finish mckenna's vlog while i get ready and then i will come back so let's do a transition we're ready but i want to try some new products to finish this face off so i thought we could do it together so if you guys remember technique technique i'm not sure how to say it sent me these bits a while ago and i've wanted to try a brain mascara for the longest time so i thought they sent me one so let's just try it this is the Mega Lash. I've just curled them. Oh gosh, it's very brown. I used to wear brown mascara when I was like little. So I thought we could try these new products. I just, is that one coming here? Mm, he's parked outside. I feel like it's just going to be softer on my face. I feel like he's coming here yeah it's like it's not a huge difference i just feel like it's not black and bold and i feel like it just is a little bit softer on my face because i used to never wear mascara fun fact like if you look at photos even videos probably from two and a half years ago oh he's coming here one sec guys i hope it's for me i don't think it is but parcel for Josie. what i don't even know what it is let me finish my mascara and then we shall open that oh i actually really like this it's not clumping either i feel like this to be fair my mascara is on its way out so i definitely need a new one i've had that maybelline one for ages but this has made my lashes so long i'm so hungry i actually made some soup yesterday while i was making the curry while i was waiting for like the dough to rise for the naan breads so i have got that but it's only it's 11. i feel like it's a little bit early for lunch i thought i could make like a cheese toasty dip it in because it's tomato soup but it's not overly tomato because i put like a swede in it and leeks and pepper so it's just more of like an autumnal vegetable soup Okay, honestly, I think this might be my new thing. So, oh wait, let's not ruin it. Let's just do it that way. So cute. I'll give you guys a close up in a sec. I'm just trying to, I've really got it on this eye. Okay, big slay from that brand. I tell you that, right we'll clean that up in a minute best tip when you get mascara on your eyes is just to let it go dry look at that look how long they look obsessed 
Okay, right, and then we've got some lip liners. I think I'm going to get olive green nails next time. Like, I saw this Pinterest picture. I'll have to show you. It's like a dark, like, deep olive green. It looked really cute. So I was going to get all that colour, but I feel like it's a bit bright for this time of year. Like, everyone's been getting red nails and chocolate brown nails and green nails. So I'm like, I kind of want to get on that. Okay, we've got two shades to choose from. The bottom one is in the buff. I didn't do that in a very good part of my hand. Top one is a little bit more red and that is skinny dipping. I think I'm going to go... Should I do this one? I never do my lips this colour. See if we like it first on the lip. That's how I always do my cupid's bow. I always try and get it from like the corner and go across and then. What do we think? Do we think I can pull this colour off? It's giving like almost red, which scares me a little bit. it's more like a rosy pink i guess and then i've actually got this which is I, I was torn because they sent a lot of lip sticks and glosses and oils but they got this like gold flaked one i thought that might be quite nice It's like the mix between a gloss and an oil. I think it's cute. I just think it's just different. So I'm a bit like, ah. Okay, I'm actually into that. I feel like it's different, but we shall, we shall persevere. Okay, but let's clean my lid and then let's open that parcel. Oh my god, that's my belly. I'm actually so hungry. I've got yogurt and fruit that I could have, to be fair, if I wanted something more for breakfast. Right, how should we open this? Has our nail got it? What have we got? Ooh, L'Oreal X Red Cone. Everything's falling from under my bed. <laughs> We've got an avalanche. I didn't know that. Where are we? Does this come off? Oh my god, I feel like I need to slender. Okay. Oh, it's flew open. No way. Oh, I didn't realise that Redcomb was a L'Oreal brand. Or is it not? I don't know. I think it is. I think it's like part of their professional range. Look, this is it. Okay, so it says our hair is as, as our hair is as unique as we are. L'Oreal Professional Products invites you to try a selection of some of our favourite brands, hero products curated for you. Have you found your new hair heroes? Yes, I absolutely love Red Can They Are My Hair Heroes. This is their all soft range. How cute is that packaging? I'm sorry. The caramel. This has got argan oil, it's pH balanced, it's for moisturising and hydration, that's so good. So that's their cleanse and condition, shampoo and conditioner. Honestly, that's so good because I was running out of my red comb. Then step two, we have got a professional mask by L'Oreal, professional. Smells incredible. This is preventing breakage and reduces colour fade. I would personally use this first, I think, as like a mask, but what does it say? It doesn't actually say how to use it. It's in French. I think it's French. So yeah, we've got the mask, fun. And then this is by Matrix. Smooth, shine and prime for styling. Multitasking treatment. Mir miracle creator has okay right let me read this quickly 
Hair multitasking treatment has 20 beautifying benefits for your hair. A leave-in nourishment, boosts shine, smooths the cuticle, prevents breakage. Honestly, it's literally got blah, 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 like loads. Reduces dryness, controls flyaways, makes the blow-dry process easier, corrects for styling. Spray, spray product on towel-dried hair, comb through and style as usual. Hmm, interesting. Okay, when we wash our hair, we will use that. So thank you so much, Ariel. That is so kind. I will use all of these next time we wash our hair and we can try them out. So, on to hair, actually. I would spray that on it, but it says do on towel dried, so I won't. I won't go against what it says. I don't know whether to scrape this back or mermaid it. The... Look after your hair. Jodie is saying scrape it back so you don't put heat on it. But then I'm like, oh, but then it'll just be. What should we do? It's not super greasy. It could do with some. What's it called? Dry shampoo for sure. But. Or do we just scrape it back? To be fair, I haven't had it up all week and I'm probably going to wash it tomorrow. So. These are the products that I have personally found to be the best to do your hair with, to scrape it back. I'm gonna do like a middle parted bun. So that is the goal. So we're gonna brush our hair through. I'm actually gonna to have to just, okay, just change what you stood on because you stood on one of the products. Who would have known? Okay, right, first of all, we are gonna go in with the Wella Deluxe Oil Infused cream gel and you don't need a lot of any of these products literally like this much and i just go like this this just helps get all your hair together i used to use a mousse honestly just use whatever you've got you could use hairspray you can sometimes use grease depending on how greasy your hair is but because i've had dry shampoo in it i feel like it's not that greasy so we're going to just pull that through then we're going to take a little bit of the oil infused lotion spray again by wella and spray that a little bit further down your hair this just like loosens it up again because obviously that mask is quite heavy so that is that then we are going to take our back comb brush from Superdrug and just start brushing it back making sure to keep the part in like that and get underneath make sure you get underneath because I always forget underneath and forget that everyone can see the back of my hair but because I can't I'm like oh doesn't matter any last little bits then we're going to take a bubble and tie it up i'm going to do mine like mid i'm not going to do it super high i'm just going to do it like mid height sorry ran out of storage here we go okay so we've tied our hair back if there's any flyaways, don't worry, because we can deal with those in a sec. So then we're going to take that spray again. Where did that go? <coughs> we're going to take this spray. If I was going to leave this as a pony, I would take the way hair oil and like sleek it. But because we're going to try, obviously, and get this bun as tight as possible, we want it almost to be wet. And this product is really good at... If you spray a lot, it really, you could do water to be fair, but it really like hydrates it and gives it that moisture that we're looking for. So we're just brushing that through so it's as sleek as possible. I'm just gonna put a little bit on this side to equal it out. Okay, make sure our bobble is tight. And then we're going to start twisting. So, the neater you can get this first twist, just the smaller, like the smallest your 
the smaller your bum will get. So I'm just going to twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. <laughs> okay. Obviously, when your hair's long, you sometimes have to go back and retwist because you just lose control. But here we go. We're just going to start then twist it around the hair like this. I'll try and turn around for you. I don't know if that's the best I've ever done it to be fair, but and then you can leave the little bits out if you want. I'm personally not going to today. We're just looking for a clean, sleek bun. But if you do leave the bits out, it does always look cute. And then just get another bubble. My baby hairs are so long at the moment. Crazy. And then bubble on. And then this is where you can really just like perfect it. So I'm gonna take the Wella hair spray, which is a really good one. Well, I thought it was really good. I sprayed my hair with it when it was curled the other day and it literally dropped within an hour. But for buns, I always feel like it's really good. And then we're going to take that same back combing brush and just brush everything into place. And that is how you get a sleek back bun. Look who we've got. Ginger baby. Kisses. Oh, thanks. So, OOTD, I'm thinking, I don't know if it will go, but I'm thinking I'd quite like to wear this new coat. I don't have a pair of leggings that are clean to go with, but I don't know whether it will go with the midnight blue or whether that is just outrageous. With my new platform up, because I was thinking maybe that would work as an outfit, but I don't know whether the blue is too much for the brown because I was wearing my ad another version leggings but yesterday you know the ones I had on yesterday literally was sitting on my bed me and I had a cup of tea and he just sneezed I think or coughed or something like something made him jump and the tea just went all over me all down my leggings all on my arm all on the quill so yeah we love that but I don't know whether this will go I'm feeling like it will let's try it on and then i'll come back but i don't, honestly don't want to take this off like i feel like i just want to live in this forever i thought it was over okay i'll put it on it uh, together please and then could i get a a large ice pumpkin spice latte but can i have it decaf is that okay and then could we have two pumps of white mocha in yeah. and then we could have could we have some of the um cold foam on top of that what do you fancy? Do you want vanilla? Yeah, vanilla. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, inside, please. Yeah. Thank you. Turns out Taylor Swift. Guys, I got iced pumpkin spice latte with two pumps of white chocolate mocha and cream it's all broken off vanilla sweet cream take the strawberry mine tastes different now really does it taste nicer we got an iced caramel mac with clotted cream, cream. cold brew no not cold brew what's it called? cold foam so you can mm. taste that there yeah you can't really taste the caramel no. mac now <laughs> tastes like i'm about to say yeah i was going to say what it tastes like but i feel like it really Is it good? <laughs> Will I like it? I don't know. I want to say yeah because of your experience last time, but I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty, it smells really good. <laughs> really good. Really? Because it's like chai, but you did like the chai and the matcha, so I'm not sure. Not like chocolate is giving it a bite. It's good, isn't it? I feel like if you if you're not like a pumpkin cinnamon girl, sweeten it. Yeah, sweeten it off. I think the white mocha really helps it. Mm. That tastes so really good. I know. How good? Your channel's got tones of seem to be like a little Starbucks. I know, every testing week, every time. Mm. Really good. So this is nicer than the one that I had before. Yeah. 
I can't even remember that one. Yeah, but it was like white mocha. Yeah, it was like white. I know, Mia made it up her head. Does anyone else think that the lips are throwing my face off? Because I just tried to film a TikTok and I feel like I look so ugly. But maybe it's just because I am. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I look really pale. But on this camera, I look like I've got a bit of colour in me, so I don't really know. But it's a little bit later on now. It is three o'clock. I had a nice coffee with me. That coffee was so good. Honestly, all run and get it. Posted it on my story. And if you ever need any good Starbucks recommendations, I've actually started like highlighting all my starbucks drinks so if you go on my profile there's like a whole oh there we go there's a whole highlight of different starbucks orders that i've been trying so if you're ever in the need of a new starbucks you want to switch it off go on that and have a look but we are at can you guys see or not i'm not sure we're at b&m and I thought we could go and have a little look. Main reason is that I would love to get a heated blanket from here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one. I was speaking to my mum about it yesterday. And like I said, oh yeah, but the one in Argos was white. And she was like, well, are they not all white? And I was like, well, no. And she said, well, Auntie Doreen's is white because it goes on the mattress. So she's like, why would they colour it? And I was like, right. I, was, I thought this was an issue. I don't know what you guys buy but the one we have got at ollie's is like a, a throw it's like a blanket it's not like a mattress topper or a sheet it's like a, a throw like a a sofa blanket so that's obviously why they're colored because they're meant to be a little bit more like aesthetic obviously depending on what color your house is so that's where we're going wrong so hopefully b&m have one but i thought regardless it would be fun to have a little look around because i haven't been for ages so see you guys in there one more go at starting this tiktok if not it's going to be a youtube exclusive because i just can't guys put this on your like spooky basket christmas list like stocking filler list how cute it's a malteser and galaxy hot chocolate station i don't know what what you quite get in there but Look at that, it looks gorgeous. You've got loads of stuff in there. I feel like it's got all of these stuff to make cool hot chocolates and it's only £5.79. Look how good these are. These are only six pounds for like bedside table lamps. I'm gonna just tempted just to get one of these for my room at my mum's because we could really do with a lamp because that light is so harsh. It's so cute. Like it's just obviously really basic, but just to put on top of a table is only six pounds and I love that this is matte. They've got white and not white. They've got this beige. They've got black. And then they've also got these range ones. Do you say green? Which if that was more square, I would love. No, guys, I'm sorry. Look at all these lamp shades. Look at this lamp. It's only £20. I'm sorry, that would be like £60 in H&M. I love the wicker with the linen. Beautiful. I love these pillows. They remind me of that bomber that I got from Boohoo, you know that like textured Sherlin. So cute, these are two for twelve pound or eight pound each. Blue clip. They've got sage green. They've got like a this is giving boys bedroom. How nice is this one there? They've got a white but then they've got more of a beige. I'm sorry about these lines but you're like in between. You know, the railing, I tried to get you in as close as possible. Sorry, these mugs are so nice. I love this curated glass. What do you call it? Like the rib. Corrugated. What do they call it when it's like a rib? I can't think. But how nice. And they're so big. Like, I feel like their home section just gets better and better every time we come in. But how nice is this? I mean, you could, in your coffee station, put in this, like, you could put caramel or honey and bloop. So nice, a four pound. Also love this velvet vanilla. I don't know how that would smell. Actually really good. It smells very really natural, it doesn't smell like vanilla. Walking down the gift set aisle and I just saw the cutest dog stuff. Now, if you are not a dog lover, obsessor, I might lose you here. But if you are, hold on. Stop it right now. Frankie and Sasha would actually, I think, bite me but Darcy shut up she needs these she would 
love well I say love I'm not sure whether she would but look those but those ones like they're not even just for Christmas then and then look they've got this jumper that one's obviously very Christmassy but you can mix them I don't know where this matching jumper is wish I could find it but how cute and look they've got these bows I feel like Frankie needs a bow but she would rock a bow so well Imagine this one on now. I wish it was pink though. I feel like it looks a bit boy. Oh, I think I found it. Is it this? It's not actually as cute. I feel like those bobbles would just come off and Darcy would eat them in a flash. But And these are reflective. Stop. Reflective jumper. Knitted with reflective threads. Oh, that's so good because that keeps them safe in the dark. Oh my God. We are such a dog society. And I just love it. Like, it's amazing. I love that we all are obsessed with dogs. Yeah, I'm going to be 16. And I had a party. I'm like, we have a party here. Just so made like my vlog live. And I was just watching a little bit of it. It is ten past five. Yes, I did get back. I did get back into my fluffy pyjamas. Just because, honestly, it's so cold today. Like... You need a heated blanket, you need a hot water bottle, you need layers. So I don't care that I put them back on, I'm cosy. It is 12 degrees, but when I tell you it feels like four. I am going to cook dinner shortly. I'm going to cook a chicken pie. So I thought we could cook it together. I know I've already shown you guys, but I'll just do like some cute cooking clips. And I'll link the recipe. But like, oh, I forgot to do that actually. I was meant to link a recipe on this video. Let me just quickly do that. <laughs> boyfriend without telling me you're obsessed with your boyfriend i'll go first <laughs> how cute hello time to get on ready and wind down get ourselves into bed so the pie i'm sorry if i have not yet convinced you to make a chicken pie make a chicken pie you will not regret it it's actually so easy and it's just so good and it just tastes so good and it feels autumnal and that is the vibe that we are on so i'm going to take my makeup off i actually don't know whether i've gone off the inky list one it's a bit of proper reflective light because i used it on my birthday actually and i just felt like i couldn't get it off my skin afterwards like i think you unless you follow it with a like foaming face wash something like this I felt like I couldn't get the residue off, like it was just clinging. So I would say if you want one that, like I did really like, I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't get it off my skin. And like I kept wiping it and wiping it and I felt like there was just so much of the product just left on my skin. And I thought, well, that can't be good. And then like after I've done my skincare, like I got off as much as I possibly could. But even when like, I did my skincare, I just felt like my face was dirty. Like I just wanted to go back up and wash it. And obviously that is not the vibe. So just double cleansing using the simple face wash. Okay, let me take you into my bedroom because this lighting is just not it. Like unless I'm literally here, you guys can't see me. So let me take you in there. Okay, is that better? I think so, at least it's brighter in here. For moisturiser, I'm gonna go in with this simple hydrating light moisturiser. I need to find like a really solid nighttime moisturiser. They do do that Garnier one in a nighttime, so I'm tempted to maybe try that, but I do like this one for sure. It is good. I don't feel like it is like the best. I feel like I could have a better one, but that's okay. 
Then I'm going to go in with the Kylie eye cream under the eyes. So after dinner, Ollie was going to the pub, so I tell you I've never cleaned the kitchen so fast. And I was like, I'm getting up to bed. I was like, I'm washing my face, doing my skincare, putting my pyjamas on, and I'm getting into bed and watching some YouTube before he gets back. I just feel like watching YouTube in the day, I don't, don't, I don't know, unless like I'm cooking or I'm getting ready, I don't, in, like I don't enjoy just sitting in the day, like I feel like it's, it feels really unproductive, even if I've had a really busy rest of the day, I feel like until it's night time I actually can't enjoy sitting and watching anything, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going to put my UK lash on. I'm definitely a brain mascara girl as well just like catch myself in the mirrors and stuff today or like if I took a photo I felt like it just suited me way more it wasn't so harsh and then for my lips do I go by Ellie or Laneige I should go Laneige really with it being evening time oh also I've got my little spoolie here so let's do it what do you call this I don't know I can't remember spatula choose this just so good i do wish though that this had like a little hole so you could put it through because it's quite unsanitary or like you know just something to keep them together these are so easy to leave so i'm putting my alarm on for the morning and i'm going to get up at half six and i'm going to go to a spin class at seven and then that's going to set me up really nicely <laughs> Not me actually getting up and going to the gym this morning. Oh yeah. I'm so proud of myself. I feel like I just had to do it. Stop procrastinating. Stop saying I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start on Monday. Start on Monday. I very easily could have been like, it's Wednesday. I'll just start on Monday. No. Doesn't matter what day it is. Just start. Just go. Just get it done. So I got up. I didn't even end up doing a class. I ended up going to the gym. So I'm even more proud of myself. So I feel like that needs more motivation than just a class so i went to the gym got myself back i walked the dogs with my mum we walked them for about half an hour which is really nice it's like a crisp autumn morning so it was gorge then i've just got back made myself a cup of tea had some breakfast just had yogurt berries i had raspberries blueberries grapes chia seeds organic honey in like greek yogurt it was really nice so i've got to wash my hair for tomorrow so i'm thinking if i wet it i can put it in a hair mask today and then wash it either tonight or tomorrow depending on what my plans are but i've got to be up quite early tomorrow so i think i'll end up booking like an early gym class and getting it done maybe like a spin class but i don't know we can talk about that first things first let's get in the shower and let's give ourselves a good wash cleanse all of that exfoliate shave um this is very needed so quick gym fit before we go primark bra literally like two pound the cheapest ever boohoo not boohoo bowing tea leggings and then i had on this i don't know if you guys are skewed if i'm sorry if you are you're a bit like bat lit to me because of the sun but this is like a bbl dupe lululemon dupe from plt it was like it cost me about 20 pound or something really affordable it contours the body so well it's just like a black zip up i've shown it a few times but if you're new you might not have seen it especially while i've not been to the gym so yeah it's like a high neck it's got contouring on it's just gorgeous really hooks the body and it's perfect for the gym so yeah i'll link that below if they still stock it i'm pretty sure they do but it's so affordable so much more affordable than lululemon let's jump in the shower and then let's get out finish the rest of our morning routine i want to get back into my morning journal to like um really focus more on like gratitude and daily planning so we'll do that when we get out but first things first 
Let's jump in the shower. Okay, quick shower product roundup. We've got this for body wash, so good. An oil cleanser, I'm gonna go in with the Bioderma. Intimate areas, I'm gonna go in with Dem Fresh. This is so good for cleaning your scalp before hair wash. B, Estra Razor to shave. Simple, moisturizing facial wash for the face. Okay, if you were curious about whether Skims is worth it or not, let's talk about it. Here is the very awaited, I'm sure you guys have been on the edge of your seat. <laughs> to see how, sorry I'm just tidying my floor before I put you down, see how the romper that Mia got me for my birthday fits. Well, here it is. How incredible. It's so stretchy because she got the, I don't know if it's extra, extra small or extra small. Um, extra, extra because it's the only one that was in stock. Oh no, my hair. So she was like, I don't know if it'll fit, but obviously let's just see. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure, but obviously let's see. It stretches so well. Like, honestly, like, look how much stretch, but it like... Run to skims. I'm sorry. It's worth every penny. And it matches my nails, look. Like, how gorgeous. It matches the nails. It's so comfortable. It genuinely just feels like a blanket. Like, it's the best... Okay, this is going to be an issue. I thought, yeah, don't put it up in a bun, just put it in a claw clip. It's annoying me. Okay, hair is secure. But how unreal. I'm obsessed. This is so comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing nothing, but feels like I'm wearing the comfiest thing known to man at the same time. Beautiful. I mean, I'll probably wear this in the house, like, just chilling, like, movie nights. Um, but it would also look really cute with a big teddy coat and, like, socks and Uggs. So you could definitely wear it out. And I feel like it'll be cute for like airports and just, you know, like a cute loungewear. So, I mean, look at the colour. Obsessed. So cute. I love it. So, yeah, it, extra, extra small. I was, I was unsure as well if it would fit me, but it fits me perfect. Like, it's got so much stretch because it's those materials. Like, I've seen so many girls say, like, they stretch a lot, but then they sculpt. They stretch and sculpt. I love it. So, I'm just going to go and do my skincare because I'm filming an ad for Diamond White. So, I'm just going to go and film that the rest of that finish my tiktok off and then i will be back we can do our journaling and then honestly this morning my only plan is going to be finish editing my birthday vlog and then that will be up for you guys tomorrow it's a week of vlogs on the channel which never happens we've usually got some sort of fashion but it is literally purely vlogs i hope you guys don't mind that this week and yeah brb but i'll be back very shortly okay Okay, right, let's talk morning gratitude, morning journal, morning to-do list, productivity, whatever we want to wrap this up in a topic as. So, first things first, I'm going to take my manifesty journal and I'm going to write myself some prompts. So, I like to use this to manifest, to show my gratitude, to write affirmations to set goals short term long term say what i'm ready for just like more of the spiritual side of things so i always like to start with the day which is it's 11 11 what a perfect time okay let's say some we are grateful we are blessed we are given opportunities by the universe every single day the universe blesses us with positivity i only attract positivity into my life i attract good people good things good opportunities so today we're going to focus on like our gratitude and showing our gratitude to the universe so i'm going to write three things i'm grateful for i'm going to write how I show my appreciation to the universe for blessing me, my short term goals. And then I'm just going to round it off with some affirmations. And I like to, when I write these affirmations, I like to like set them as not intentions, but as little reminders that I would come back to throughout the day. So if I'm feeling anxious and stressed, and actually while we're on the topic of anxiety, I was watching McKenna's vlog yesterday, I finished it off, and she said this really interesting point, and I was speaking to Ollie about it after. She basically said, if you are grateful for something you can't be anxious about that thing she was like the two emotions like gratefulness gratitude and anxious anxiety like they simultaneously can't exist because she was like how can you be great like for her example was how can i be grateful that youtube is my job and provides me and my family with an income 
if I'm anxious every time I have to do my job because she doesn't like vlogging outside and like in shop. So she's like, how can I have anxiety about it but be grateful? She's like, I can't. She was like, so I've got to eradicate the anxiety to be truly grateful. And like it works vice versa and um, vice versa as well. Like if you are being really anxious about it, you're you're not really being appreciative of it. Else you would you'd feel more positively about it and the anxiousness and the negativity would be not there like it wouldn't be there that emotion wouldn't be there if you were truly in a state of being able to be grateful and I'm not saying it's just as easy as like no I'm not anxious anymore I'm grateful but working towards eradicating the anxiety will mean that you can be truly appreciative and show your gratitude Do you know what I mean like she said and I was like oh it does make sense so that's gone in the brain so those are my four affirmate um, four prompts so i'm going to fill this in and then we'll come back and we'll move on to our next planner So let me give you guys a rundown of what I like to write. Maybe this will inspire you or maybe you're just nosy and want to know what I write. But regardless, I will tell you. So three things I'm grateful for. Waking up in a warm bed, being able to move my body, the freedom that I have. How I show my appreciation to the universe. I show and share my gratitude daily and I take every opportunity that it presents to me. My short term goals, I keep those to myself because I feel like goals are personal and there's some social media goals in there like follow accounts and whatever that I'd like to hit but also more like personal ones so you guys get the drill affirmations I wrote three today and I quite like these ones I am dedicated to achieving my goals I am ready for new opportunities and I open my heart to blessings so those are mine I didn't write that properly up I feel like this is why my brain is ticking all the time because like if I don't spell a word right it's not even who cares I'm not going to get marked I have to go back and correct it so that's everything that I write in that one and then I think I spoke to you guys about this one at the start of the week anyway but this is the goal getter planner and I just like to check back in on this to make sure that I'm within like my weekly plan so my affirmation this week was the universe provides me with everything that I need and no, oh, no, that's not even today. That's so weird. I'm on the wrong one. He said bank holiday then, and I was like, I don't remember it being bank holiday. <laughs> right. Here we are. <laughs> My affirmation for the week was, is, I have entered a transformative chapter. So, we've got on Monday goals, and I did everything on that. My Tuesday, I did everything on that. When's that other than the Instagram content? Because me, I didn't um, want to get it yesterday. So that's okay. We can move that over. So today I had planned to have like a TikTok filming day and YouTube sort of day. But because of this hair mask and the fact that I am not tanned in the slightest, we are going to move that over and have this as purely YouTube editing. And then we've got some TikTok editing to do. It's just going to be very TikTok admin day. Um, emails and things like that then tomorrow is going to be a, a write-off Friday we have got I'm taking my grandma's shopping and then I'm going to get my content here I'll get ready on Friday so I'll get content for Instagram and TikTok and then I really like this one because on the bottom we have got self-care and then they've got these little like fitness booties so self-care you could write whatever you could have like a journal session which i'm gonna write as one of mine and then secondly it could be as simple as a hair mask or remembering to do your evening skincare or doing a face mask like whatever it is and then fitness you can just tick them off i like to do little hearts so i'm just gonna tick off what i've done this week so i've been on a few walks and obviously i've been to the gym this morning so that needs that and I just know now what I've got to do. And then I do like a phone note. I do. I know some people like, and I do love writing it down, but I also just like it on my phone because I can do it as I'm out and about. I know that Grace Beverly just came out with a app on the phone. What's it called? Like on the phone 
journal planner like daily planner and it looks incredible pick you up as and when i have anything to say but right now i'm going to just chill and edit this so well not chill i'm going to edit this so yeah chat to you guys in a little bit excuse the absolute sight of me but me, me and my mom have just come to tesco because mom's got to get a prescription for my grandma and i thought that we could have a little look at the clothes because she's going to end up waiting so i saw on tiktok that they've got 25 percent of all coats but there's some really cute knits also got my own things in to excuse the talking but how cute we've all got like this blush 22 pounds that's so good oh, i also love this i've been seeing a lot of like scandinavian instagram girls wearing jumpers like this this like black and white stripe but horizontally i love it oh my god i love this i think is this the fleece that everyone went crazy for wow look at that a Borg denim jacket that is so cool for Tesco. I think that is the one that Mia saw. It's £19.50, it's like a beige colour. I really like the blue, really cute. You know, just like Evan running, I don't need any more coats though. Oh my god, who remembers when I was obsessed with the Tesco pajamas? It was a real time. No, honestly, really cool. I also love these. Yeah, yeah. Jodie at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Don't need to tell me about this yet, do you? I don't know, I've never done it before. Are you using it today? No, I'm not. Can I take your order then, please? Can I please get a hot chocolate? Yeah. A double cheeseburger? Yeah. Large fries? Yeah. A plain hamburger? Yeah. A Coke full fat? Yeah. And I have you got the what was it? M and M. The M and M McFlurry. Uh, yeah, the yeah, M yeah, McFlurry. Do you, do you want one of them? Yeah. Yes, one of those, please. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Did you order quick on the screen? Yes. Let's so do when you can. Thank please. you. No, I mean I've never been there. I've been with been you. I've been with you when you are. It's, it's nothing to mom. worry about. No, I've still never done it. What, you never done the drive through? She no, she's been to the drive through, she's never been in the driver's seat. No. Oh. No. I didn't know that they did this. Well I won't up to complain. Oh, what a Karen move. Yeah, well it was my lunch at work. We had a Mackey's. And you didn't have anything? No, no. Well I still had my mayo, my chicken mayo and fries, but I didn't have my I think we'll get a three test is this one. MMs. I've done without your orange keys now. I've got to go out in the car. Oh, that's you, mother. Really good. Not nuts. Hello. Hello. Come in today. Well, actually, does have nuts in our mouth. Have you had it done? It's really good. Tears for Ellen. guys what a day i am so tired but you know what i'm gonna do instead of jumping into bed and taking my makeup off and just sitting in bed on my phone i'm gonna go to the gym so i've just put on this where is this from tiktok shop i think it's that brand moose lover it's like a gray so yeah long sleeved and then it's just 
leggings just put my converse on i'm gonna take my makeup off in the shower so hence keep it on but i washed my hair this morning it is about four o'clock ten to four i haven't long been i haven't long been home it's just been a long day like i was up at six and i've literally had makeup on all day um it's just been a long heavy day so i just thought instead of getting into bed and just not doing anything i thought let's go and do something productive move our body go to the gym i'm going to do an upper body session because my legs are killing me and i'm just going to do a little bit of work walking on the treadmill so i've got loads of emails to catch up on so i'm going to do all of that so i will see you guys there let's go to the gym who are we hello guys i need to get a new sticky pad you've really lost your stick i also need to get this car clean since i've been jeff in here a few weeks ago when we were dog sitting it's just like ridiculous the amount he mops like I've, i don't know how ollie's brother has a house like <laughs> i mean like he just mops like he's ha my camera keeps doing this i was editing my birthday vlog yesterday and i realized how much it was going in and out of focus from a distance and i think it's because it like gets me with the light and then it loses me i think we're focused now but i am really tired and i honestly could just get into bed and have a nap but i thought no let's be a little bit more productive than that and let's go for a little gym session nothing crazy i think i've got the gym buzz back i don't know I don't want to talk too soon, but something about that gym session just made me feel like I was 18, loving gym again. And I feel like I've had such an up and down, mostly up. Like I'm not going to talk it down. Like I've definitely had a very positive experience with gym life and working out. Like I've always, it's always been something that I've never had to force myself to do. I've always felt very blessed that my mindset's been like that because my dad used to really like my my dad is the one who introduced me to the gym and i was like i don't know like 13 or 14 like as soon as i could have a gym membership he was like you know you i was always really interested anyway like as soon as i could go to the gym like i wanted to but he like really in what's the word not enforced that sounds like mean like instilled in both my brother and i like working out is really important for your physical health but also your mental health and how good it can make you feel and i feel like the certain times like the last few months and i don't know what it's been but i've just had this like big like dark cloud over it. and i think it's because i've like forced like i've enforced this get up at half six well get up at half five you have to be at the gym for half six if you're not there at half six you're a failure you're like you have ruined the day if you're not walking the dogs by eight o'clock like you're unproductive you're lazy like and it's really i think fucks with my mental like my mentality and i just don't feel like i've had the best mental health the last few months and i i don't know i don't know why or what like nothing i don't know i feel like really good in some places of life but then other places of life i don't know it just feel a little bit lost but something about that gym session genuinely just made me feel like i was 18 going to the gym with my dad on a thursday night like no pressure it's the pressure and it just made me feel really happy like i had old arctic monkey songs on that i used to be obsessed with like old like um old school like nostalgic alex turner album on and it was just i don't know i i felt way better about it and i was like why have i hated this for so like the last few months like i've really had to drag my ass to the gym and i just didn't feel like that like i felt quite excited and then i feel like i haven't had that feeling of like motivation and focus and just like pure like i don't know it just made me feel really good so i'm hoping that this is like a like a like a switch being flipped and i'm gonna feel a lot better about it now because i don't know what it's been i just feel like i've had this cloud over me and i also know by not working out i've made myself feel a lot worse but then i haven't wanted to work out because i haven't felt good so it's been like is it like a catch 22 the same like it's just been a bit of a cycle of not not knowing what i don't know i don't really know but i just feel a lot better after that gym session and i think it's because it wasn't like 
I just, I organically thought, you know what, let's not lie in bed, let's go to the gym and work out. It's not, you have to be there by four o'clock. I was like, you're, you failed. It's the fail. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I am actually just driving, oh this isn't gonna work, one sec. Good morning guys, it is Friday. It is the rainiest day I think known to 2023. It's honestly just like pouring down of rain since the moment I woke up. It has not, it's not as bad now, but it's still not a good day like at all. This is the current situation. I just got to my grandma's. I've just got myself ready. I've got no makeup on today and just a very, one sec, my hair. Very simple fit. I'll give you OT details as and when I can like properly show you. But I just thought I'd pop on and say good morning. It is 10 o'clock. I did a 12, 3 30 this morning. Feel real, really, really good for it. I got up a bit earlier because I stayed at um, Ollie's mum's last night. So I got up a little bit earlier and just like played with the dogs. I feel like I haven't seen Darcy and it makes me sad. So I was just playing with the dog, had a cup of tea, went to the gym. It was just very like slow, but I was at the gym for I think quarter to eight which then felt good then i took my mom to work got back got myself ready and yeah here we are i put a hat on because the weather is not playing with our clean hair so i thought i'm not gonna bother straightening curling waving it's just gonna be left like ideally i'd put it up in a bun but it's fresh so i don't really want to do that but yeah i thought i'd just say good morning i'm just about to take my grandma to do her weekly shop have an hour or so chilling with her and then i'm gonna see mia this afternoon so that is really when this vlog will continue but i'll pick you up when i can love you guys i hope you are all well it's the 20th of october today which is crazy literally like 11 days left of the month and then we're in november where is the year going but yeah good morning see you in a bit but we are in Holland and Marrow. Look at these. How cute it's gone from the work. One pound fifty. One pound fifty. So good. And so good. We are BFFs. We've been catching up on my psychic experience. And boy, was it a good one. I haven't even told them because I was I was supposed to go. There was a brand over there. It was really cool. I took a photo. Night time. Vigo Mel. There's the famous fiction cheese. Yeah. I said we'd come for a trip in here and here we are. Here we are, because I asked her to come, so I made it come through here. Full baking and hot chocolate, that's so fun. If you're vegan and you want a hot chocolate, because I love the Vigo bars, I can imagine that'd be stunning. It's like Nutella, but vegan. Do you like Nutella? Yeah, I love I love all the teas, wow. Oh my god. This is so fun. And it's not even expensive. No, it's not. I remember, I remember the, when I was younger, I came in and bought a booty detox and I shit myself. Did you? Because <laughs> they're not good for you. No, literally. Saw so so the Georgia Shore girls, yes, isn't it? Getting a BBL and promoting. <laughs> <laughs> promoting that they've done it for booty. Literally. Getting the grand. These are, these are all those natural deodorants. These are spray ones, salt of the earth. Oh, it's like an actual spray. I love tea. Morning rescue. Caffeine free. Lemon balm and ginger tea. Mm. How fun is that? Caffeine free. Oh, what? I've bought the nighttime tea. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really excited to. You put so milk. What I'm interested. You put milk in it? Yeah. You put milk. Yeah, it's just like a normal tea bag, but with milk. Do you need sugar? Um, I've had honey in it once and it depends. Is it sweet already? Yeah, because okay. it's got it's got that like nutmeggy vanilla taste, so you don't okay. really need it. Yeah. I would really like to try these, but I've got my Sanex right there, but these are organic to Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? Hang on. 
Good evening, guys. I am just getting ready. I actually found my e.l.f. primer. I'm so happy about it because I love it. I've missed it so much. It's the e.l.f. No, the Milk <laughs> Hydro Grip Primer. So let's catch you up on the day. I took my grandma shopping and then me and Mia were in two minds of what to do. We were like, do we go to Birmingham? Because Mia wanted to film a come shop. Um, the weather... The weather was just atrocious. Like, it, there was nothing inviting about today's weather. Like, it was just a movie that made you want to just stay in bed and... What is that on my lip? Stay in bed and honestly not do a lot. So, we, in the end, decided to go for lunch and have a sister and souls meeting because we've got some really exciting things that we wanted to finalise. So, we just did a little sister and souls meeting and went to waggers we went to the works like you guys saw i think we went to holland and barrett and i got i'll show you tonight because i've left the stuff in the car but i got a kombucha and i want to try because i really do like raspberry kombucha it's like my favorite flavor and they had one on special offer for like 2.50 like a liter so i thought god that's so good i am just doing very light makeup because I just can't be bothered to be honest that's why I didn't wear it today I wanted a fresh face but I'm going out so I've, I've kind of got to do my makeup sorry just had to delete some storage so yeah then we've just chilled at Mia's and just had a very like chill day we had hot chocolate and honestly just caught because we haven't really seen each well we haven't seen each other um since the start of the week so we just had a lot to catch up on and Mia went to a psychic yesterday so like I was saying in Holland and Barrett I had booked to go to the psychic which I think I told you guys if you keep up with these weekly vlogs I took my grand what should I put on I haven't got much of this left to be honest I think I might just put a little bit of this luminous silk on like a little tiny bit just to balance my face out so I took my grandma to do this psychic that my brother had been to a few years ago and then like she was really good and me and my nan, my dad's mum, had booked in to go and see her but we wanted back to back appointments so we booked in like August and then these were the first dates we could get available. Long story short then uh, something come up which meant that neither of us could go to this appointment so I said to me I was like do you want it? I was like I know that you really want to go to one I was like I feel like your nan would love to go and obviously like I would rather because it was very late notice that we found out that we couldn't go like a week pretty much a week before I was like I don't really want to cancel because we have waited for so long I was like obviously I'd rather her get the appointment so Mia and Hanan went and it, I mean I'm sure she'll have updated her vlog with everything that happened but it was very interesting and she the lady like said something about your Demir like your long long <laughs> which if you guys know you know it's like a running joke that i just love my long hair but she said something about like your 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 friend with the dark long dark hair so she was just telling me everything about that over lunch which is why i didn't really put the vlog up so i was so curious to hear what happened and hear everything and it seemed very very good and like my brother's been to her and my grandma obviously went a few weeks ago and really enjoyed it so i'm definitely going to book my nan and myself back in but it's just getting in with her like i think we might have to just go on separate days which is fine like i don't really care to drive her and then drive myself another day but yeah so what i'm doing right now is getting ready because i'm actually going out this evening shock i'm going out with my mom my uncle's girlfriend and my grandma we're going to a Fleetwood Mac tribute and I'm really excited because my grandma and granddad loved Fleetwood Mac and I mean I like do really like them as well I mean I wouldn't call myself like a super fan but their songs obviously are they're just classic aren't they and I do love like Dreams and The Chain and just obviously the popular songs like Let's Be Real I don't know they're I'm not a diehard fan who knows they're really original music but I'm really excited because my grandma's so excited to go and she booked us tickets for my birthday my mum's birthday and I'm just really excited to go out with her and um my grandma just loves Fleetwood Mac and my granddad really loved them and it was like one of their favorite bands and they've just always listened to like their music growing up so I am just very excited to go and experience it and I feel like I haven't been to a concert with them like my mom and my grandma ever so i'm actually really excited so yeah that's why i'm just getting ready that's the plan this after well this evening 
So, exciting evening actually. Ollie's out with his dad and his brothers. So, yes, that is our plan this evening. And then tomorrow it is Ollie's littlest brother's birthday. He's going to be 19. So, we have got a meal for him in like early evening. And then on Sunday, we're going pumpkin picking with the whole family. So, we've got a very wholesome weekend. Obviously, if the weather holds out, I don't know whether <laughs> this weather is to say, but honestly, like, look at it this is what we're looking at it's just dreadful like it's just been like it all day so yeah that's pretty much all i've got to say i know i didn't give you OOT details OOT details today so let me just tell you the top is zara and i got it a few weeks ago it's like a skims fits all sort of like thin it's really cute it's long sleeve it's like a thermal type thing it's really cute top and then my leggings are another version and they're just like a black basic pair the bomber jacket is from boohoo ridiculously oversized but living for it to be honest and then my shoes are new balance and i had another socks like, so on and primark bag still absolutely living for the brown mascara life it is just unreal and this mascara is also so good i think it's like a mix of a good lash curler a good like wet i feel like you know what when mascaras are new they're just always so much better because they're like wet <laughs> they're, they're not like drying it's when mascaras start to dry that they really lose their effectiveness and also a good lash serum like my lashes just seem to be growing so much but this is the technic mega lash i imagine it's really affordable because it's a very affordable brand but Look at the difference in my lashes like one coat like nothing crazy literally just curled them for a couple secs and that is what we get it's just incredible i don't know what to do with my hair because it's raining so bad look at that how unreal i'm sorry my eyelashes have never looked better than this i'm not even joking it's so good and then shall we try this new the other one that i didn't try this is in shade in the buff it was a little bit more of a brain wasn't it oh i've got so much product on my lips honestly never have plans on the weekend so having like a plan on every day i'm like whoa and obviously editing this vlog for you guys it's a very weird colour, like, reminds me when you get your lips filled and they've got that, like, I don't even know whether that looks nice, but we're just going to roll. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I've got the Laneige underneath, which gives it a little glossy gloss. So, this is the face. I will bring you along this evening. I obviously don't know what I'll be able to show and whatnot, but... You guys can have a little sneak peek of what we got up to. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm not that hungry, but I have got a steak downstairs because Ollie brought some the other day for snacks. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? But that's how hungry he gets after his dinner. Even though I give him the largest portions known to man, he still somehow gets hungry after like two hours. So he ends up having a steak for his calories. So yeah, we have got a steak downstairs left. So I might have that for my dinner. But yeah. That is me for now. I am going to stay warm. I've got an hour until we are leaving. So have something to eat, pick a fit and everything, sort my hair out, I don't know what with. And then I will catch you guys in a little bit. Guys, we are on the way. We're going to put my grandma up and then we shall be there. I'm trying to get my phone into this car. We've got the heated seats on. It's freezing cold. Good morning, happy Saturday. Thought I'd give you a quick Holland and Barrett haul because I realised I didn't show you yesterday. So, first things first, I got this kombucha. It's from a brand called The Gutsy Captain. It was raspberry flavour. It's the Healthy Award 2020 award winner. And this was a litre. Like, it's a pretty big bottle and it was £2.50. I really like kombucha and obviously it's very good for you. If you guys don't know, I shall read you a few. Darcy's very intrigued. It is 100% natural, 
no preservatives, low calorie, never from concentrate, gluten free, living food, organic, and it's got nothing artificial. So I really love raspberry flavour. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I have to get that. And then I'll just use this in the show. So I will get him to give us a review. But I got him this pure olive oil soap so, because he's really trying to cut. Come on. He's really trying to cut everything out of, not his, only his food, but out of his products and everything. So I found this in Holland and Barra and literally the only ingredients were salt, water and olive oil. It's from a brand called Oliver, conveniently. So I got him that and it was just like a bar of soap. No, no. Oh, my eyes look so rough. So, <clears throat> yeah, I got him this anyway. It was literally one ninety nine. so I, he's in the show and literally using it now. So if he likes it, I'll let you know. But it just seemed very, very, I mean, that's what it says. It's like unrefined olive oil, kind and gentle to the skin, no animals, no colours or preservatives, no perfume, no colour, veggie and vegan. So, yeah, that's what I got from Holland and Barrett. Having a bit of a slow morning. I'm going to start editing this vlog shortly and then we've got a family meal later because it's Richie's birthday so we're gonna go to Herbert's which what's this what's this oh my god Darcy look what is it quick come on <laughs> she loves looking at the window what's this what is it you believe how big she is no I can't little angel so yeah that's what we're up to I'll pick you guys up and show you getting ready and whatever when we go out but just looking forward to chilling in these. These are the ones that I got from Boohoo. And I'm going to edit the vlog. Spend a few hours doing that so I don't have to do loads later. And just have a bit of a chilled, slow day. And think I might take the dogs for a walk. If the weather holds. But it's like grey outside and it's just no fun. Especially for Sash, like, getting wet. But Darcy. So, yeah. Sweet joys in a bit. I thought I'd show you that. Gotta go. Hello guys, first of all we'd just like to apologise that I didn't get ready with you today but the SD card was importing the clips and the only thing that I really had to do I'm just putting these another version making on the only thing that I had to do was edit the vlog and um, was do my hair and makeup while the vlog clips were importing so I could edit them so yeah, I just ended up getting ready we have just popped back to mine so I can grab some clothes because I didn't really think about what I wanted to wear but we are going to Herbert so just sort myself out and then I'll show you perfume actually I'm going to switch it off and go Marc Jacobs Decadent it's one of my favourite scents of all time I haven't got much left which is really sad but there we go get out what we can I'm just going to top that up with a bit of this just because this jumper is just like sat in my wardrobe you know and it needs a bit of a freshen so this is how we look i waved my hair then this is my outfit this is an asos jumper and these are another version and bag i think i might just put on my louis purely because it's cross body so it's just easy and then i'm just going to add my uggs i'm going to throw my antelope uggs on and then we're a bit in a bit of a rush, so I'll speak to you guys in the car. But I just got an incredible package from B&M, and I think it's their Christmas PR. And I'm just shook. Like, the box is literally this high. Like, I don't know what they've sent, but I could just, like, scream from excitement. Guys, if you wanted a visual, this is how big the box is. Crazy. It's literally up, up to my thigh. We will open this. Guys, we are done at Herbert's. It was actually the best lineup I think we've had a good one. for a while. You honestly guys missed out if you did not go today. It was so good. First um, first meal we had was that like prawn. It was like, well, it was shrimp, battered shri um, shrimp. Really good. And then yours was like a steak baguette, which was all right, wasn't it? You Nothing know, crazy. Amazing. But the I concept. The one, but this, I knew I was having chicken like that, so. Yeah, and then we got greedies, which is if you have been or just go to like street food places around the Midlands, you'll know it's like the best chicken. So then we had that. 
so we just drove into Ollie's auntie's house because Ollie's never been actually and it's so beautiful I can't believe you've never been it's so nice like she's done it so nice it's like beautiful it's got a balcony you can see all Birmingham so we're gonna go there that's what we're up to and then I've got to get home and finish this vlog edit so long night ahead but had a lovely day I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here so I love you guys so much thank you for spending the week with me back next week with another vlog and next week is going to be fun because it's going to be a lot of sisters and souls stuff staying in routine with the dew and everything early mornings where we can and then the week after we're going to london and yeah that's going to be exciting a bit of a busy week next week but it's fine go left here so love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video oh wait how was the the soap Whoa. give us a rating out of 10 I wouldn't rate it highly. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I come out. He didn't really get much from it. I didn't. Didn't make me smell fresh. I no, he didn't like, like the smell. I didn't mind the smell, but he didn't really like the smell. But yeah, love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.